Zheng Yi Sa, also known as Qing Shi, was a Chinese pirate leader who lived from 1775 to 1844. She was born as Shi Yang and came from a simple background. When she was 26 years old, she got married to a pirate named Zheng Yi in 1801. The people in the Guangdong area started calling her Zheng Yi Sa, which means, wife of Zheng Yi. After her husband passed away in 1807, she took control of his group of pirates. This was possible because she received support from Zheng Yi's adopted son, named Zhang Bao. Eventually, she married Zhang Bao. Even though she wasn't officially in charge, Zheng Yi Sa became like the leader of the pirates in Guangdong. She had a fleet of 400 ships and somewhere between 40,000 to 60,000 pirates working with her in 1805. Her ships got into fights with big powers like the East India Company, the Portuguese Empire, and even the Qing China. In 1810, Zheng Yi Sa decided to surrender to the Qing authorities. This meant she gave up and stopped fighting. But, the good thing was that she and Zhang Bao got to keep a lot of their ships and pirates, and they didn't get punished for their pirate actions. When she surrendered, she was in command of 24 ships and more than 1,400 pirates. She lived until she was around 68 years old and passed away in 1844. After she stopped being a pirate, her life was pretty peaceful and she did well. People remember Zheng Yi Sa as one of the most famous female pirates in history. She's also one of the most successful pirates, whether male or female. She showed that she could be a strong leader and lead a big group of pirates. Her story teaches us about a time when people did daring and sometimes dangerous things on the seas, and how someone like Zheng Yi Sa could become a powerful figure even in those times.